What's going on, Little Dap? It's Jared Munz, former pro, coach, and founder of Online Soccer Academy and OSA Soccer Camps. Today is February 2nd, 2023, and I'm really sad to share this news with you, but we are pausing OSA Soccer Camps, our videos, and our newsletter until further notice. We are not shutting down OSA. We are just pausing until further notice. So uh, I've got a little script on my phone right here that I'm kind of looking at on the screen. Um, <clears throat> I'll be kind of using this as a guide. Um, I'm going to share in this video what pausing OSA means, our next steps, and share some context to um, behind the why and, and behind our decision to pause OSA and, and some of the emotions and logic behind this hard decision. Um, at the end, I'm going to finish with our sort of signature Believe in It ending this one um, but uh, again I'm looking at an outline on my phone right now uh, just in an effort to kind of help me uh, stay on track and not, and not get overly emotional so feel free to watch the entire whole video for all the details if that if you don't want to do that that's totally okay and just know our OSA team and I we uh, we appreciate you we're very sad about this decision and uh, OSA is paused until further notice you know, that means no OSA soccer camps in person, no virtual camps, no new OSA videos, and no weekly newsletter. Uh, we certainly hope uh, that we're going to be back, and we want to be back in the future. We just don't, don't know when that's going to be. So, for those of you watching the full video, let's go! And I'll share some more. Um... What pausing OSA means. Uh, for us, pausing OSA means we're, we're not doing any in-person camps and, uh, and our 200 plus free videos will continue to live on our website at Online Soccer Academy. They're gonna be on our YouTube channel um, and we want anyone around the world to continue to, to enjoy them for free. You know, our, our team and I, we take so much pride in sharing our videos for free. Um, and, and we're so proud of how many people we've we've helped inspire over the years um, and coach for your videos. It's it's incredibly humbling, the positive feedback that we have received uh, from around the world since 2008. Um, and we started our camps in 06. You know, our content will live on unless YouTube stops. Um, <clears throat> but we will not be hosting in-person soccer camps for summer 2023 and beyond until further notice. Um, certainly breaks my heart as I've been uh, helping players improve uh, in soccer camps and videos basically since 2006. Um, and pausing OSA means, you know, not making new videos. We're not sharing the weekly newsletter or replying to emails with questions. Um, again, our videos are going to live on on our website. And... Um, and YouTube, and I hope you you continue to enjoy them, and they're helpful for you. Um, uh, we we've helped a lot of players uh, over the years and coaches, and we always say when they say how appreciative they are and how much we help, we always say something like, you know, we're a tiny part of their small improvements, and credit to them for making it happen. You know, moving forward during this pause break, and and even when we come back. Uh, it's up to you to keep making those small improvements happen. And hopefully our, our OSA videos can can be a small part in helping you, but it's up to you. All right, so um, so next steps. Uh, yeah, our videos are going to be on here. Um, the, I, was, I have these tabs set up as a way to, like, share some stuff, but, you know, these are, like, just some old photos on my Facebook page. <laughs> that these get posted everywhere and you know just you know this one kid's like a youth national team player now and um anyway we got a wider range of stuff from from kids just making their high school team or, or being a starter and improving to to pro level it's super amazing so uh next next steps um <clears throat> one day we certainly hope to to bring our in-person and virtual camps back but for now we really just need to pause um, so be sure to join our waiting list. We're probably going to have some forms uh, on the website uh, for you to be alerted for uh, when our soccer camps come back, if you'd like to attend. 
All right. Um, and now I'd like to kind of share some more of the context as to why, you know, and talk about uh, my, my family, our decision, um, and, and why we're doing this. Um, I am in good health, and so is my family. I'm very grateful for that. Uh, this is my lovely wife, Lauren, and our daughter, Skylar. And uh, I think there's like a date night photo right there. You know, she's just gorgeous. Uh, and our younger daughter, uh, our younger daughter, Hayden, over here, I was like dancing and, and making them laugh um, after a little pool hot tub session on a ski trip we had not long ago. Um, but this decision to pause OSA, we decided to make uh, for our family and our team members. Um, I'm not going to get into like political talk or really deep details of our portfolio of businesses, but in short, the, the pandemic, uh, really did a number on our businesses. You know, there's many businesses uh, that thrive during the pandemic. I have friends that have home services businesses that th just thrived. Um, but for us, we own uh, our soccer camps business, and uh, we own some fitness studios called Pure Bar in Las Vegas, and those just got crushed. Um, you know, our soccer camps business was hammered. I, I, I never imagined there would be a day where I couldn't coach so a soccer camp. Um, you know, and I've always been people for players first, business second, or family first, business second. You know, but at some point, like got to put food on the table, you know, and to not be able to coach a soccer camp was just, was just crazy. Um, so with our soccer camps being a seasonal business, um, it made it really hard to try to like, are we going to grow? Are we not going to grow? Cause we have to schedule like a year in advance and just didn't know. And you know, that the, the, the money from that business wasn't like rolling in the way it normally did. So, you know, what are we going to do? Like, I'm proud of how we've weathered the storm, but, uh, you know, retiring from pro soccer in the, in the, uh, two early two thousands didn't exactly make you someone who, uh, doesn't need to work again. Um, <clears throat> but you know, one of the things we talk about is calm seas don't make good sailors. And that's a quote I've loved for years. You know, a lot of people think, uh, I'm just a soccer coach without a job and we give away so much for free on YouTube. Like how on earth do you make money? And that's totally okay that people, a lot of people don't get it. You know, I'm not out to prove myself to anyone except myself these days. And having said this, I do love coaching. I love coaching. I'm also pretty good at leading businesses and teams. And uh, apparently, which wasn't clear to me in 2006 when I started, but if you're good at coaching five-year-olds and teenagers to improve in soccer and, and play well and believe in themselves, you can also be pretty good doing that for adults in any business. Um, so long story short, about a year ago, where, why can't I tab over? At the pause here. Hold on, I'm going to pause. All right, I'm back. How about that? I used to always tease, like, on YouTube, I get it first time, every time. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, long story short, about a year or so ago, um, my family and I and some business partners, we decided that, you know, if OSA Soccer Camps and our Pure Bar Fitness Studios can't provide for our family and our team members the way they have for years, and the future of those industries are unknown, like, we're going to need to make some changes. So... <clears throat> give or fly. Do what the game shows you. This is what I think great players do in soccer. And I strive to be a great player. If the game shows me to pass, when I check my shoulder, I pass it. If the game shows me a defender's coming and I have a man on, I pass it back. You know, if the game shows me to dribble, I dribble. If the game shows me to shoot, you better believe I'm taking a shot. And for me, right now, the game of life showed me in order to provide for my family and our team members, like we needed to own more businesses. Um, so we launched Give or Fly. And essentially we buy caring businesses from caring leaders looking to retire. If you, uh, this is a uh, Steven right here who um, is our chief operating officer in our portfolio. You, you might've seen him on some old videos and, and at soccer camps um, and another partner of ours um, who's, based in the Cincinnati area. It's my wife and family. 
but we formed a group and essentially we buy businesses from caring owners looking to retire. And uh, we pair them with caring leaders looking to live their dream as a business owner. You know, so we bought a commercial cleaning business, you know, <laughs> which is just comical, you know, going from coaching kids and like wearing Lululemon and Pure Bar Studios to then um, buying a business from these amazing people, uh, Terry and Jeannie O'Neill in Flagstaff, Arizona. I live in Vegas. This business is in Flagstaff. And uh, they have a commercial, they had a commercial cleaning company that was 21 years old. Uh, it had one Google review. Terry hadn't looked at his website in years. So different than Online Soccer Academy and Pure Bar. Uh, but we were fortunate enough to, to buy it from these caring, nice people. And we're a couple months into that, and it's going amazing. You know, it's going amazing. I feel very grateful. I'm also having like an absolute blast. Uh, this is like our uh, one of the celebration parties. That's me, like feeling all blue collar, uh, trying to learn how to clean. Um, and some of the people in the community and customers that came out. But, you know, I am having an absolute blast thinking up like online cleaning academy videos and how do we like train for this and train for that. Uh, and marketing ideas like like if we have a team member who comes across a big uh, a big poop, we can do like a hashtag big poop or like a Mr. Clean meme. And uh, they're going to make a couple extra bucks by taking a before photo and an after photo. And we post that on social. You know, I don't know any other cleaning companies that do that. Like it's it's pretty neat. Uh, um, we are in the process of buying more businesses at Give or Fly and putting more leaders in place to run them. Um, you know, with our, we're recruiting next up leaders to be giver flies and, and they lead these businesses with a profit share. It's pretty cool. You know, and for me, that feeling of leading businesses outside of soccer is the same feeling of coaching just now, instead of using soccer as a way to coach life and values, uh, such as believe in it and hard work. Our team and I are doing that with businesses like cleaning and, and other industries, you know, for example, uh, one of our new team members at Twilight, uh, right here, his his name is Andre. Uh, we're so fortunate that he he chose to join our team, but he like double fist pumped when we offered to him, um, and he's asked us to call his coach because he looks up to us, and he's already listened to like four or five audio books while he's while he's cleaning and doing his job. Um, and he's learning a lot from us at, at Give or Fly and what we're helping in the background for him. And, and I'm just so humbled by the positive impact like that he's having on our team and the, the positive impact we're having on him. You know, it, it feels just like I'm coaching soccer. I, I love soccer and, and I'm going to miss it. But it's neat to feel like I can still help and contribute and I'm more... I'm Jared and I'm more than just a soccer player and more than just a soccer coach. <laughs> Um, even though it crushes me that I'm not going to be coaching, you know, my players and our players this summer. Uh, another example is, is coach rich. Uh, coach rich is, is leading our, our twilight company as a giver fly. And I've been so fortunate Try not to hit the pause button. It's symbolic. <laughs> I've been so fortunate to coach soccer with Rich in the past, and he's a phenomenal caring leader. And now he's living his dream of being a business owner at Twilight uh, and us at Give or Fly, following our lead lightly leadership style and our tech small operations, which tech small means like think like an efficient tech company and care like a small business. And it's so neat that, you know, he's, we're on his team, he's on our team, and we're giving him this awesome opportunity. And the same way I've seen him rock out coaching kids, you know, he's rocking out coaching adults and providing for his family. So, uh, kind of wrapping up here, like, I'm, um, I'm sad for OSA, <laughs> clearly. I love coaching soccer. I love helping I 
I love helping our players reach reach their dreams. Um, whether that's the high school team or going pro, like I don't care. Whatever their dream is, like me and, and our team being able to help do that has been like really special. You know, people will ask, uh, do I do I play adult soccer? And uh, I usually always say no because I get to coach when I play neutral. <laughs> Or because when I coach, I get to play neutral and, and like when I'm coaching, I just love that. Whether it's with like Zeph or Philly Jim or, or Izzy, um, in, in, in the Vegas area, uh, or like my eight year old nephew, Bruce, like hearing them say man on and turn. And it's just like, I'm going to pause. I'm thinking of so many players and faces from 2006 to, to like right now, 2022, 2023, like it is sad for me and our team, but you know, unfortunately like being a leader for me means making difficult decisions based on information that the game is showing me, even if it hurts and my, and my emotions don't want me to make this decision. Like, is it scary? Yes. It's dang scary. You know, I love soccer. But for me, though, being a leader isn't about being being fearless. It's about being brave. And for me, being brave means making a choice and taking action when the data tells you, even if it's scary. You know, when to quit, <laughs> change strategy. Like, like some might say I'm quitting, and that's okay. I don't have anything to prove to anyone. But for me, like the narrative in our world tends to be never quit, don't quit, go, 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 go. And like, yes, many times never quit is the right attitude to have. But for me, that never quit attitude is much more applicable for being in the moment. Like when a 90 minute game is happening or in the fall season, that's when you never quit. But this like not forever, you know, this not never quit forever mindset like just because I played soccer once for a year and I said I wanted to play college soccer, like now all of a sudden I can't ever quit if it's right for me. Um, as high achievers and hard workers, which many of us are, who who participate in OSA, it can feel like any decision to quit is weakness. 